Uh, Shalom, first and foremost, I'd like to give all the praise and some glory and honor to to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Makar Kadash. Double honors to the elders for preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, scattered to the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. I say Shalom. And this is a sit-down lesson that I wanted to bring out as of March 15, 2023. And this is Salakia. And this is from RT.com. World News of uh, Africa. And it reads, Zimbabwe posed to ditch the dollar in trade with Russia, uh, according to officials. Settlements between the countries could be arranged in local currency or gold in a a senior lawmaker has suggested the central bank the central banks of Russia and Zimbabwe should establish settlements in local currencies and look at opportunity for secure trade and gold reserves. The speaker of the Zimbabwean ruling party Zen Zenu PF Christopher told the RIA on Wednesday, the Southern Africa country has been under the Western sanctions for 22 years. The official noted adding the curbs imposed on Russia should not handicap trade between the two countries. Early this year, Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov announced that Russia and the countries in Africa were developing a cooperation strategy to replace the U.S. dollar and the euro in the settlements, adding that the parties were preparing document, documents of rearranging the mechanism of cooperation under the Western sanctions. Our banks should find a way to make the Russian rupee and the Zimbabwean dollar freely convertible. Also, our countries both have rich gold and reserves. We are among the top seven countries in terms of gold mining and production volumes are growing. We are now mining 35 tons per year, but we could mine all 50. So we could think about securing our trade in the gold reserve. But as Mas Vanagua uh, suggests, the official went on to say that nothing could derail between Moscow and Harrigan, nothing that China, India, and Middle East nations were also moving towards ab abandoning the dollar in settlements. The political also proposed in establishing more banks that use alternative payment systems to replace the West SWIFT. Uh, messaging, messaging system. He noted that the trade dollar was a limited factor, adding that Russia and African nations should set up more banks outside of the U.S. run global swift banking system. Moscow has been steadily pursuing a policy of the de dollarization in foreign trade in recent years. Russia and some of its trade partners including India and China, have been ramping up the use of domestic currencies and mutual settlements in efforts to move away from the dollar and the euro, which is the uh, American dollar and the euro dollar as well, too. It said links to Russia, new trade partner in African countries, including Zimbabwe, has been quickly taking shape in recent years. In 2019, Russia hosts the first Russia-Africa summit with its participants outlining priority areas of economic cooperation, security, culture, and science. The second summit is scheduled to take place in St. Petersburg on, uh, in July. So as you see, this is a Nunda another sign and another indication that now that these nations are turning away from the American dollar and the Euro dollar as well too. So that shows you once again the uh, 
the value of the American dollar and the Euro dollar is steady declining as we speak, you know. So as we entering into a uh, closer and closer of this uh, digital uh, currency, which is the uh, central digital bank currency. And you can read that in the book of Revelation 13 and verse 16. So as these nations now they felt the effects of these uh, economic sanctions, especially these uh, African countries. And Zimbabwe was uh, one of them, as I was reading, scrolling on down through the news article. In Russia, you know, they felt the, uh, the effects of the uh, Western sanctions, of economic sanctions as well, too. In African countries, they kind of felt that as well, too, right along with uh, China. In Iran and North Korea, you know, so these are nations that's, uh, you know, the African countries, uh, China, Russia, uh, in, in, in India, now African countries, you know, these many nations, they are turning away from the American dollar and the Euro dollar as well, too. So that shows you another uh, indication sign, as I mentioned again that you know the uh american dollar is being being decreased the value of it is decreasing you know and the euro dollar as well too so with that this is just a sit down lesson that i wanted to bring out from rt.com march 15 2023 of uh rt alternative world news.com I mean, uh, RT.com of uh, Alternative World News. I meant to reiterate it. It'll reiterate that kind of slip of the tongue. Sorry about that. But as this news article recently came out, it says, because Russia and Zimbabwe, uh, they're constantly, consistently uh, doing uh, economic settlements in a different way as they turn away from the American dollar and the Euro dollar as well, too. And these two countries was dealing with uh, long terms of uh, dealing with Western economic sanctions. Now these two nations are turning away from the American dollar and they uh, ditching the they're ditching the American dollar and the Euro dollar as well too. You know. So with that, uh, hopefully this uh, sit down lesson was edifying. I would like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Wakar Kadash. Double honors to the elders for preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And shout out to the Akim scattered through four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely as well, too. And until next time, I will say shout out.